This time we use loft compound to create column. Loft objects are two dimensional shapes. So we need path and shapes. Go to tab view and set up snapping options. Snap to the grid. Turn the snapping on. Go to create object and start drawing your shapes. I need three circles and one rectangle. Next, I need to scale each shape to fit the dimension of my column. After I scale each piece, I move it to the side, except the final piece. I'll use the shape to create central part of my column. You can use another circle or rectangle. For the next step, I'll use array, so I need to move pivot point to the center of the larger circle. Next, go to tools and open array. For next step, I use rotation and I'll change my degree to 360 and adjust count to my liking. Each time you make adjustments, you can preview final results. If you're happy, just click OK. Next, I need to convert main shape to spline and attach newly created shapes to it. Turn off attachment, click spline and select main circle. Then go to Boolean options, turn the Boolean on, make sure union is on and click on every single shape. Turn off Boolean after you finished. Now you have the main decoration ready. Scale down to fit the column. We have all the shapes, now we need to create path. Now we can start lofting. So under geometry, click pull down menu and go to compound objects. Make sure that path is selected and clicked loft options. First type path value and then select first shape. Repeat the process for every single shape. Path value depends on selected measure method. Lower values represent top of the path and higher bottom. This method lets you create complicated objects very quickly, but it can add to poly count. And time to unwrap UVs. So here is my finished column and it's made from single mesh. At the same time, I can use my existing path and the shapes to create more columns. I can change appearance of each column by changing the path value and the order that I pick my shapes. I hope you find this short introduction to Loft useful. Thank you for watching and good luck.